Well, shoot night. Looky there. What is up, everybody? We are live. And as y'all guys seen as the title, 1K subs. I I can't even believe it. I remember last year, this day, last year, I was only at like 37 subs. Maybe 15, 37 to 15, somewhere in that range. It's a big range, but I, I didn't have very much subs last year. And then we went to you to meet up. Um, but it's just so insane. One year, got what I wanted. I wanted 1K. I didn't know how long it would have took, but that's all I really wanted. And thanks to everybody for going and hitting that sub button and get me there. That's I'm, my, I can't even think right now. We got 12 people in here. What is up, everybody? I, I just can't think, guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here right now. I got one case up. I, I can't. Man. I cannot believe that. Now I'm thinking about it. Man, dude, I can't I can't get it out of my head. Thank you guys so, so, so much for 1K subs. It's been hard work. It's been a lot of up and downs and all that stuff. But I still can't get it out of my head. So as y'all guys can't see how uh, – that's right. As y'all guys can see, we're in the bass boat. And I will be announcing the giveaway here in a little bit after we get some more people on here. And, um, yeah, we're going to go and kind of rig up tackle, answer some questions. If you all guys have got any any questions you need to ask about fishing or future videos or whatever. Whatever. So, yeah, get her going. Get her going, old son. Congrats. Thank you, Nairway. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. I can't really see y'all way over yonder. So, if I don't see you guys' comments, that's my bad. I'm sitting, what is it, five foot from the camera? I can't really see. Um, so, I got all my fishing reels right here. And I'm going to go, let's see, where's that box? So, we just went and bought these right here. These are called glide baits. Um, this is a seven-inch glide bait right here. Shad, shad colors with a black back and silver body. This is called the glide. This is what well, this is a little big fish catcher right here. And tomorrow, 759. huh? 759. I'm live right now. Are you? Yeah, okay. Mm. Anyone on there? Yeah, we got 14 people in here. Hi, everybody. Howdy. You went out a little early. Yeah, I'm just sign up so I'm not late. Nice. Yeah, so I was telling about. The old glide bait. So the new glide bait you got. Yeah, so these glide baits, so in the water, instead of like a swim bait with the tail just paddling like this, the glide bait's gonna like go in the water. It makes a big old commotion and gets those fish to bite. We're gonna put one of those on. Um, that might be pretty good. And I'm hoping tomorrow we'll uh, be able to catch some sand bass. So I bought some Strike King spoons. Right here, this, these spoons right here is what I was catching them on last weekend or two weeks ago. Now, this spoon doesn't have any action. This spoon does, so I think we'll have a big difference. We have more fish to catch on them with the live scope. We got the live scope. I'm on. sure everybody are sweet, heavy. No. Nah. Sure, everybody. Ah, get her. Everyone, this is our sweet girl. She's a corner cross. And she, now you're. Don't let her poop in the boat. <laughs> Come here, baby. You're so sweet. Let's go out front. Let's go out front. Stop yelling at me. Oh, I got chickens everywhere. Hello. Uh, and everybody said hi. Mom. Hey, Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Hi, Ricky. hi Mama. Uh, everyone. Um, the 1,000. Thank you so much. Um, so what I was saying was, I got all these reels here, and I got a heavier rod. This is a 7-foot medium heavy. Heaviest rod I got. Dad has a couple seven threes, but we had a little incident on one of the rods, so now we can't use those rods. Ian Parker. So I'm gonna put this is a Cast King rod. Got it a couple days ago. Traded it with one of my buddies. Um, I'm gonna put the old Shimano DC with 25 pound cigar line on it. Um, I'm gonna throw that on and. This is what we're going to be throwing our swim bait. 
our big old glide bait on there. We're going to throw the glide bait on this guy. Just the heaviest rod I got. And the Shimano DC is supposed to be non backlashable. So that's what I'm going for. It's going to be, it suck to break off. But a four, so that glide bait right there, guys, is 40 bucks. It's insane how much they are. I don't know why they're that much. But I know they catch big fish. That's for sure. They are big fish catching fools. I never fished with a swim bait before, or a big old glide bait, or a swim bait. Never fished with one at all. So we got that live scope now, and the shad spawn should be starting to come up here soon. I don't know when, but I want to get out there at the lake tomorrow early and see if we can find any of the shad spawn to be able to throw those big old swimmers. There we go. You got that guy all rigged up on me. I'm a bad looking combo. Set it here. So, so we got, I'm going to ask you guys, we got 13 people here. Oh, we got two old people on the couch. Congrats on 1,000. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, kiddo. Congrats. Thank you. Um, Should I throw this one? It's just silver with the black back. Or should I throw this one? It has silver. Uh, yellow, blue, and black. Which one should I throw, guys? You pick. Y'all, so, y'all picked my swim jig last time, and I actually caught a fish on it. I caught the only fish of the day on it, so. I'm going back with you guys. I'm trusting y'all. Pick the right bait for me. Let's see what we got in here. Yep, right here. This one bait. Right there. Y'all picked that one. I threw it. Caught some fish. I think now, since the shot spawn's coming up, I'm going to be changing it up with the blue and yellow on it. Maybe. They both do the same thing. Um, Chatterbait. Maybe for sure. You throw. This is a white and sartreuse. I am not sure if I have a solid white. And I need to see what color I'm... What color the water is to see... Determine what color I need to use. See, I got my Chatterbait box right here. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, sorry, I got a white shatter bait. This is the Guggen Click bait. My personal, I don't like the click bait. It is click bait. They click baited people to go and buy this bait. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend the bill down so it stays on here better. Like that right there. I'm going to build down a little bit. So now it should stay under. Because I always have problems with it staying under. So I did a deal um, with the chatterbaits. So the chatterbaits are going to sit like this. And chatter on top of the water. Or in the water. Not on top. Um, and your fish are going to come up, eat it, and all that. So people say to put bend it the opposite way. I don't have it with me. So I tried that out, and it, it f f swims right on top of the surface like that. But whenever I put it with the cone down, it swims down. It's weird. I'm probably going to throw – I need to throw a chatterbait. Either this one or this white search for this one right here. Would work. I don't know why that is all rusted. That is not good. I don't know. I might have to leave that guy up with some WD-40. Yeah, it's all rusted. Why is that chatterbait all rusted? I don't know. I don't know why that chatterbait rusts so quick. And actually, too, so the bluegill actually been spawning in the ponds that I fish. So black and blue color would be perfect for that scenario. Right here, got a black and blue chatterbait. What I would do is if I'm so this is a crawl. So this is what I'll throw in wintertime. Red wintertime, black and blue wintertime also. Um, what I would do if it's a bluegill spawn is let me get a close up for you guys. Is take your your trailer here. It's so it's so wet still. I don't know why. Take your trailer and we're gonna turn it like that. So we're gonna feed it on there. Like so. Boom. So you actually have your trailer opposite. So it's going to make it paddle. 
I'm like a fish. Right there. I hear the clicking. I have um, a Guggen rattling trunk chunk on here. Not bad. So, oof. so I'm not in love with Guggen baits. Although I like their hard baits, like the swim jigs. I love the swim jigs, and like the crank baits. The crank baits right here. The Guggen crank bait I like a lot. It's just a game, really. I I don't really like. It's my prediction. I've been using Guggen baits for a couple years now, and I personally do not like their um bait soft plastics but all their hard baits and stuff are nice i like their jigs so they're all the jigs and their spinner baits are hand tied so they're gonna stay on the skirts are hand tied so they're gonna stay on better and that's also another thing i might throw today or, or this weekend is a spinner bait this is a sexy shad spinner bait right there that old saucy swimmer on the back i need to flip that oh, i'm gonna flip this bait really quick Flip her around like that. Slide her on up. There you go. Hold on. I just put it back on the wrong way. So, yeah. So, why I'm flipping this around backwards is so your um, spinner bait is in a run. Oops. Put it down a little deeper. Your spinner bait is in a run like this. So you gotta have that coloring perfect with that. So that's done deal, spinner bait. That thing is ready to go. She is ready to go. So now we're gonna get into rigging up. So right here, got the rod we rigged up. We're gonna tie on that old big O swim bait. Did you, let me see. I gotta look at the comments real quick. What color should I have used? Let's see. Uh, and there's grandpa. Grandpa. Okay, so no one commented what color I should use, so I'm gonna go with the colors I think that I should use. I'm gonna go with this this one right here, just cause it has a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, black back, silver, perfect. Um, I caught a shad last or I keep saying last week. Last week was a meetup. Um, I caught a shad last time I went out on the swim jig and I looked at it and the sh it was it had a gold back so you know, this is, this will play the same thing as it it had like a gold with black back on it Dang, I never tied a bait this big um, well except the Alabama rig Let's see we gotta get this perfect Ooh, don't twist you don't don't do that don't do that oh man Yep, don't do that, please. Last thing I want to do is have a bad knot on here. Alright, I'm going to retie this. This is not going to be a good knot. Hold on. I'm so ready. I'm probably going to have a video out sometime about this swim bait. I'm not doing like a review or anything. I'm just testing it out. See, if... They're up to their true word on catching mondos, guys. That's all I try to do is try to catch a mondo. Up oh, to see what Ricky said. I catch any evils. Crappie, we are eating them Monday. Yep. I'm going for crappie, sand bass. Um, we're going to go to Walmart sometime this weekend and grab some more fry seasoning or frying breading stuff like that for a fry i got catfish already in the freezer um now i just need some sand bass and i want to get some crappie for sure crappie's amazing Let's see if we can't we can't get a good tie going okay now since i got that we're gonna pour down we're all down. There we go. Perfect. And oh yeah, maybe not. 
Do not ask me what just happened, because I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I keep retying this bait, because I do not want to lose this lure. At all. <clears throat> I'm trying to get the best tie on it as I can. So, I have a state tournament on June something at Lake Yafalwa. And I'm not sure tomorrow what lake we're going to. I want to go to um, Fort Gibson. Because I kind of know, know that lake pretty good. But I knew I do need a pre-fish at Yafalwa. So that's what I am predicament. Is I got to check my bass forecast. To tell me what lakes will be good. Really. Alright, we're going for another tie. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep retying this bait. I just don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose this bait. Ah. Someone is calling me. Alright, where we go? There we go. That should be a good tie right there. There, since we're tied. One more time, guys. One more time. I am apologizing so dearly. I'm getting upset. Right, we're going to worry about this tie later. Later. I need to tie that back up later. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna I got my ducket rod right here. Ducket six medium. That sounds nice. Did you go down to the pond, Parker? Catch anything? Maybe. So what I'm gonna put on this rod is my KVD loose KVD. Throw him on here. I haven't put these two together because red and white and gold. I don't know. Uh, that does not look too bad. Right there, guys. Look at that. That does not look bad at all. By no means. By no means, guys. By no means. So, also, what I'm thinking might be good. So, I'm getting my... I'm not sure what I'm going to throw on this rod right here. I'm hoping to try to find a shad spawn if we go. Which I, I would find that is watch like the seagulls and the birds going down at the water on the banks. That's how you know it's a shad spawn. And last time I was at the lake when I caught that shad... They were getting chased like crazy by fish. And I'm not sure which kind of fish they were. Uh, but they were fish. And they were getting crazy down there. I, I got, we got, just got the new Garmin Live Scope. And it was so crazy. I actually live scoped some sand bass. Funnest thing in the world. It was so cool. I have a video. Sometime if I go and try to find more sand bass and crappie this weekend. I'm going to have a whole rig up. For the live scope and the camera in the back. So I'm probably going to have my phone watch it on the live scope. And then have my GoPro watch it on us while we fish them. So this weekend is all about meat and stuff. All about the getting that meat in the freezer. Let's see. We got 12 people on here. We're only 20 minutes in. But I'm going to talk about it. So now guys. We got 12 people in here. So we are going to talk about the giveaway. It is giveaway time. So the giveaway is going to be next Friday. I'll probably do it about 7, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, one of those two. Um, so what I'll be giving away is my favorite baits. So my favorite baits are here. As you all guys know, as I caught the big old catfish on, are the Rage Crawls. I got a whole bunch of them here. And I'll be giving away to one of you guys on a live stream. 
And I'll probably have a little short video up about the uh, giveaway, so y'all can know. But I'm probably going to give away a handful of my favorite lures, my favorite baits. So I got a whole bunch of soft plastic here. All Strike King. We got uh, Rage Crawls. What is it called? Right I just got something new. We got the old Rage Bug. I would be giving away all of these baits right here. Not these specific ones. I would probably go get more of these. Because I have the same ones and the same ones. I'll try getting different colors of them. But right here, Strike King. This is going to be a big old Strike King giveaway. All of... They're soft plastics, really. You got your Rage Crawls. Rage Crawls. This is black and blue. That's green pumpkin. Blue Baby. One of my favorite colors. Uh, peanut Butter Jelly. Black and blue. And black and blue. So, as you guys, next Friday, we'll be doing that giveaway. And that is for hitting 1K subscribers. And it's been a rough, rough, rough week. Like, it has been raining like crazy. Everything is humid in here. In the shop. Like, look at my clippers. They're, they're rusty. They're rusty. So, I, I don't know what's up with this. I don't know what's up with this weather, man. Well, let's get back to what I was doing. So, what I'm going to tie on this. Mm, let me think. Let me think. Should I go with the spinner bait? But that's too. Chatter bait or swim jig? Chatter bait or swim jig? Let me think. Uh, Chatterbait, Swim Chatterbait. Alright. Uh, we're going to go with the Chatterbait. We're going to go with the Chatterbait, guys. Right here. I'll have to put a new trailer on the back of this for sure. Um, We're going to throw Sartreuse and White Chatterbait. Why I'm picking this bait is because... The chatter guys cross the water in the water would help out a lot more when you're sight fishing sort of. We're we're kind of sight fishing. Let's see, let's see. So I actually got some custom made ones versus you know the regular Z Man chatter baits. So that's a custom made chatter chatter don't chatter bait whatever you want to say. And what I do with that? That's a Z Man. I like these e better. Just because it's skirt skirt wise. So we're gonna put this guy back. I got different colors. So the bite is tough throughout the day. Which I don't know if it might, might not. I don't know what this rain is gonna do to us because all this rain we had and everything is super crazy. I'm not sure what it's gonna do to us. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna tie on this chatterbait for now. I keep forgetting we're going fishing tomorrow, so I gotta find my white crawls real quick, real quick. Let's see, where are those crawls at? I'm good, I'm good. Who's got on here? Tell mama. Huh? Can you see who's on here? We got 10 people in here. I see Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. See Ricky. Oh my gosh. They're now trying to find some lures. Oh, you can show them some lures. There you go. Maybe Daddy goes in there. You don't get any old son. You don't get any old son. So, Dad, do you know where we're gonna go fishing this weekend? I do not know yet, sir. Do we want to go to your fall and pre-fish, or I kind of want to go to Gibson? I don't know why. We'll I just look at lake level. Yeah, I was thinking. It would probably be up. I don't know. I have something in me that wants to go to Gibson for some reason. But so, do you know whenever my state tournament ship is? State tournament is. I think June thirteenth. Thirteenth. I think. So you can run that Skeeter deal. Future video, maybe. So I'll be throwing on a white bandito bug on the back of this chatter donk, chatter bait, however you want to say. It. Mm, that did not look good. Hold on. So that um, all of my stuff is rusted. My clippers are rusted up. My chatterbaits rusted up. 
Probably the moisture in here. That's not good on our reels at all. Because, like, look at these clippers. Like, these are starting to rust, and these never been outside. My little chompers, whatever they are. I forgot the little ones that we always have in the boat. Rusted. Right here, look. These guys, look how rusty they are. Look at that. What do you think is causing this? The moisture? The moisture here. We need to open those doors up once a day. Okay. You heard it first, guys. We got to open the doors up once a day. Oh, look at there. We got old Joshua Gentry. What is up, Josh? There you go. We got the old white searcher's chatterbait. We're going to tie on real quick. As you guys already know, maybe, if you were in my last live, is I tie a um, polymer's knot on all my knots. That's all I do. I can't tie anything else. Uni knots. Nothing. Just the old polymer knot. It don't break. It don't break. That's why. Throw that guy on. Like so. Ow, got a hook on my finger. Ooh, centered. I keep forgetting to wet my, my own stuff. That's not good if you don't wet it. I hate when that happens on the chatterbait. Y'all guys can't see it. But so I was cinching it down in my loop on my that I put over my bait on the palmer's knot. Just did not make it over. Real quick, I almost retie. It's so I can use a tie like quick. And I haven't went fishing in a while. Like I've been fishing but not at a lake. So I feel like I'm just dead. I don't know. I feel like I don't know how to set the hook anymore. I don't. I feel like I don't know anything. But I can never tie a hook in like a kayak or a palmer's knot on a kayak at all. I can do it in a boat, super easy. Anywhere else, super easy. But a kayak, nope. Why you keep going my finger? There you go. Center down. There you go. See, so yeah, I can use a tie pretty quick, but but not right now. There you go. On the old ducket. Hey, get away. Oopsies. There we go. With the old chatterbait and white. Insert your chatterbait. Only old white and golden rod. Not a bad combo at all. I really, really, really hope that does not rust on my rod. So the last thing I want to deal with is a rusting rod. With a rust on a rod. So now I got three different rods left. I got two seven footers and one six six rod. I'm thinking I'm going to take a seven foot rod. So I got my. Okay, I actually got a rod. Another reel I can use too. Um, so I got my swim bait. Chatter bait. So let me think. Uh, now I need my deep diver crank bait. So if these fish are post spawning. They're going to be way off the short. And. Fish I was seeing were kind of deeper, so right here. Perfectly behind me. That old shad looking crank. Deep diver crank, but that's all I need, really. Because if those fish are suspended off those secondary points or just the main points, they're way off like those post spawn girls are. That bait will crush them, hopefully. I hope to find them. I wouldn't really name it sight fishing, but see, getting to 1,000 is trying to break 100. What? Great job getting 1,000. I'm trying to break 100. Oh, uh, yeah? Everybody go subscribe. Watch your Ventures. Ricky's Ventures. Ricky Ventures. 
I said, hopefully I said that right. Everybody go subscribe to them. You got to get them up there. And if you go subscribe, make sure you say Oklahoma Adrenaline Life sent you. See how many we can get them up some subs. I hope I said that right. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I'm sorry if I didn't. Everybody say hi to mom. Bye, Ricky. Hope you have a good night. Uh, you guys are so sweet to Ricky. Oh, pretty Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Yeah, I went live with Ricky last night. Um, He was messing around with some quail. Ricky... You're in here. Tell us if you have you cooked them yet, or you waiting and letting them like sither and get all that bloodiness off of like the water or uh, uh, salt water, or if you already ate them. I'm not too sure. I had to go to bed. I had to go to bed. Actually, and today was my last day of school, so no more school. So y'all should be expecting a bunch more videos. Hopefully, I hope to get a bunch of videos done in the weekends, like for lake fishing wise. But I got a few videos up my sleeve that I'm going to do here on the homestead. Sort of homestead. Off the homestead. Stuff like that. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I need to do some hunting videos. I probably need to go try to hunt some coyotes sometime soon. And yeah, maybe get clean and cook the guy. Yeah, I don't know if I'll catch gonna cook a coyote. That's kind of musty. That's kind of gross. That's kind of gross. Ugh, thinking about it. I was gonna try to catch clean and cook that one, but we went back out. Try to get another one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got my crankbait. So, I'm kind of, as y'all guys are seeing, I'm kind of going with more of the hard baits and stuff like that. That's what I'm kind of. Hopefully trusting because of the shad spawning. I'd be so mad if they're not even shad spawning. If they're bluegill spawning, then I got to bait for that. I got a bluegill crankbait. Um, I know the bluegill are spawning, so. I'll probably have Dad or Parker throw something bluegill-wise, which green pumpkin sticks for all that. All that stuff. So, I got to hop over here real quick and grab some more rods. Like... Ooh, that did not feel good. Mmm, that was nice. That rattle trap just came out of my finger. Mm. That kind of hurt. It didn't hurt. It just kind of pulled my skin. So that was probably a little over dramatic right there. Yeah, yeah there it goes. It feels like it's bleeding. It feels. It don't seem like it feels. It is. Oh, what rod is this? Oh, okay, let me help. Ow, not, hey, now it's hurting to stink now. Wrong rod box. Hang on, I gotta go through all this stuff. I just gotta let her wonder who it's from. Mmm. That would have been a good thumbnail. Getting hooked on live. Ouch. It got in me good. Ooh, it burns. So I got this reel right here. What is this? A five to one gear. That bait is still wet. I haven't used this since we went to Grand. I haven't even used this bait since we went to Grand, guys, and it's still soaked. Oklahoma weather, man. I'm telling you what. That's what I was catching those fish on in that video. The best day of fishing ever. Uh. Did you guys hear that? I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Jeez. 
I should. I don't think I was mean. That was had to been rude. Mm. Ah, it hurts so bad. Mm, look at that. It don't look bad, but it got in there. Suckers go get her. So what should I throw on this rod? Mmm. That hurts. Let's see. Mm. I got one more reel I can use too, so. Get her. Oh, yeah. We got another rod. We're going to throw. Let's see. So I got chatterbait, male swim bait, um, my crankbait. I'm not sure, guys. What do you think I should throw? We got oh Heather Harper in here. How we doing? How we doing? Hmm. Let me think. While I'm lying, this I'm gonna think. What old Preston should throw? I really hope it's the shad spawner. That's the one I'm getting ready for. Even if it isn't, though, they're eating up on them shad. They're getting big again after sitting on their beds. Forever, they're sitting on the bed forever. Ever. You know what? This is okay. They shook and run up. I am gonna make this rod and reel right here a sand bass rod and reel. Just because I think that's perfect for that. And then I'll probably change it after time to that rod when we're right there. But we're trying to get some sandies. Some sandies. We're going to need the old rod and reel. Because I'm going to throw it out there. Let her eat bubble. So we're putting on a spoon here. We got the old spoon. The old spooner. Go So un unorganized, unorganized. That's gonna catch some sand bass right there, guys. Guys and girls, guys and girls right there. Sand bass right there. Oh, don't hit my screen. Right there. Nice old striking spoon. You guys can see that I use a lot of striking stuff. I mean, a lot. I love striking. See, I'm out of work. I'm out of work, so. Let me think. We're going to move this camera to the front of the boat. My finger hurts like bad. I don't know why. We're going to move you guys up here to the front now. So I'm kind of done rigging up rods. And we're going to clean it up up here because it's kind of dirty. She's kind of dirty up here, you guys. It's Sally. She's kind of dirty. Oh, and that top water bite might be good. That's what I should tie on. I have someone else throw. I have like Parker throw one or something. Top water. Mm -hmm. Spook. That's going to be good bait right there. Oh, a spook. An old spook. I don't know think about that earlier. I've been taking, studying and all that crud all week. About spooks and did 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 and I, I don't know why I forgot about that. That's me good day. I'll show you which spook I would throw on those points. See, so I just made a top of my right here. Boom! Okay, that's gonna be a fish catching pool. Shots, mom. You throw that in there. They're gonna go up and just. You let her eat, Bubba. You get on there. Oh, the old popper, popper, the popper, popper. Pop -er. That'd be a good one too. That's fine, baby. I am so ready. I don't know if this rain. I think it's been warm rain, so that's giving me a plus. Shad spawn stuff. Man, we just got some crappie stuff. Meetup day. We went out there. We bought some cra crappy, some crappy stuff. Right here. Got some big, big guys. I have no clue how to crappie fish, but I am willing to try.
We're actually going to rig up a crappie rod here in a minute. Nah. Uh, I don't know what is that top art. That over there. What is this? Big old swim bait. There. Chatter baits. Here. That box up there. Our spinner bait box here. Throw this sexy shad colored spinner bait in the box. I'm always gonna have on mind all these baits that I am putting back because most of these baits might be pretty good. I mean, by no means they might be good. I just put on what I think might be pretty good because. I don't know. I'll get you some good sandies on that guy. Black and blue. So, if any of these baits don't work, if it's not, oh, it's called the Shad Spawn, then I'm going to black and blue. And that's whenever I'll start slowing down. So, because all the baits I'm using now are like faster moving. Baits. Like I got the crank bait, the glide bait, and da 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 da. That I would slow it down. And I'll start changing up my presentation and put on some black and blue stuff like the black and blue chatterbait that I had in my hand. I would go and put on this blue yellow colored crankbait right here. Oh, that guy. Um, I would throw black and blue stuff, um, chartreuse stuff. Stuff like that. That's what you gotta know. So I'm going white. So I might put Parker or Dad on some black and blue or like Star Truce. We're just gonna try different colors. Really, that's that's the name of the game. Of the game. Let's see. My buddy's been texting me and called me. So let's see what he wants. Oh man. Oh man. Oh geez. So my buddy actually has a chicken down there. Oh man. Okay, so worry about that later. Throw this over here. So yeah, I'm gonna go talk about the giveaway one more time. So that giveaway would be next Friday. I'll have probably a little video out about it. Again, I'm saying it. Probably have a little video out, hopefully, about it. Telling you guys all about what you need to do, how you get to enter, all that stuff. I'm gonna be doing it on a live. So as you all guys like see that come on little giveaway a couple days ago and like Ridge Life doing giveaways, they go and get uh the whatever that one robot deal. Um and stuff like that. Let me meet even your giveaways and getting all your stuff, so you guys should be ready for that. Thank you guys so, so, so much for 1K subscribers. Um, I am going to go and kind of clean up the boat some more. Get ready for tomorrow. Be ready. Hopefully, hopefully we can do good. If we do good tomorrow, hopefully wait, look out for those videos of what we're going to do. I think Ricky's coming over this weekend. Maybe do some videos with him. And I will talk to you guys on another one, thank you guys so much for tuning in here on the 1K. Thank you guys so much for 1K. Big old milestone, man. Thanks to you guys, I wouldn't be here right now. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a great night and a great weekend. See ya.